Hey everybody, welcome to Every Damn Day. I'm Ryan Beck, I'm here with Ron Funches today and we're gonna be chatting, but first, make sure to check out Ron's special, Ron Funches' Giggle Fit on January 4th on Comedy Central. So, you're, I'm a big wrestling fan, you're a big wrestling fan. Huge. Yeah, and you got to meet Ric Flair, is that right? Mm -hmm. Were you terrified? I was very terrified because he is a legend. I mean, he could take your girlfriend even if she's not with you. Even at like 80 or whatever. Yes. Yeah. Oh, surprisingly, yes. Ugh. Did and he woo at you? He did woo at we wooed together. But like you did that as for the special. Did he woo like off off? Oh yeah, he woos all the time. He woos all the time. <laughs> That's just what he does. He's a legend in just yeah. life. He's done so much. He looks so great now. He's so old and he's full of so much alcohol and sex. And it's like <laughs> That's true. I saw a headline the other day that said Ric Flair is still drinking. And it's like, that should not be in the news, but Yeah. If he was healthy, he would still be wrestling. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's true. You've wrestled, you did in ring yeah, uh, performing I, stuff. Training to be a yeah. professional wrestler. Have you like found that you can use it in your everyday life? Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> No one like like fighting for a parking space or something. No, I mean because the only thing I would know is how to like just fall and get hurt. I could get sympathy. Oh, you can take the bump. Yeah, I can yeah. take bump and get sympathy. Yeah, uh, but that's it. I'm not good. Maybe like for like an insurance claim, you can like roll over a car or something. Oh yeah, that yeah. Yeah, I got several plans for that. Yeah. <laughs> Every time in college, because they said if you get hit by a car in, on campus, that you would get like free tuition. And uh, I don't know if maybe this is just Who my school. Who said that to you? Everybody at the University of Missouri. And so we'd always walk in the okay, crosswalk, but like, like dart in front of the cars. I feel like people were pranking you. Mm. <laughs> they just that might be right. Yeah, I think you have bad friends. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, is it, what is it like to train? Like, what do you do? Uh, you do a lot of squats. You do a lot of squats and you get hit in the head with, with, with folding chairs a lot. Does it hurt? It does hurt. And they really hit you with the chair. They really hit you with everything. And the, what it usually is, is like a trained wrestler who's actually really good. Um, I was trained by a guy named Tyler Bateman and also another gentleman named Brody King who's really good. And Brody, his whole thing was just like, come in here and I'm just gonna chop your chest until I'm bored and, and then leave just marks on you. And right, then, and you're and, just like red and raw. Yeah, and, like and he's, just having a, he's just laughing, having a good time. <laughs> Did you like him? I mean, it was like a, I think it's like an abusive relationship. Yeah, how far into the relationship until he started chopping you? It's third day. Third day, okay, so. First you know. day was 300 squats, which is a lot of squats. That is a lot of squats. It That'll help you when you're like uh, elderly, though. No. You know? No, but that's what they say. They say that when you're, for elderly people, like the best thing you can do to like get out of chairs and stuff is work mm. on your legs. Yeah, but now I feel like they're just shot. I had to live in my bathtub for like a whole day. Yeah, <laughs> I do that anyway. Yeah, it's just depression. Though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you seem, yeah, I mean, you're a very nice person and like very positive. What about wrestling is appealing? Oh. Because it's, you know, it's, so many it's things. It's not this. Actually, it is a lot of this. <laughs> um, but I love it for the, the for the deeper things. You can be like, oh, the pageantry, the yeah. attacking and stuff. But I love it that everybody's all in on it together. You know, right. that's what I like. I like that they're after the shows, they're all friends and they're hanging out. I like independent wrestling, which is really big right now. Like New Japan uh, stuff, New Japan, or like... Ring of Honor, yeah. uh, Pro Wrestling Guerrilla, stuff uh -huh. like that, where I can like cheer for these people. You see families, you see drunk idiots, you see everybody out yeah. there cheering, and then you you get to meet the wrestlers. I'm smoking weed with the wrestlers after the show mm -hmm. you do you can't do that at regular events so i love it <laughs> no you don't go to like a hockey game and then everyone's just yeah smoking and then, weed yeah in you're not yeah. smoking weed with mario lemieux <laughs> <laughs> which is the only hockey player i know and i couldn't even pronounce his name right <laughs> ron the the internet loves lists so i was hoping that we could come up with a list of six reasons why wrestling is the best reality show oh easy yeah okay number one feather boas there's a lot of no, feather boas number two Everybody's wet. Mm hmm Boom. Hair wet all the time. All the time. All the time. I don't understand that. How could you hate do it? Do they spray you down? In class, do they spray you down in the... <laughs> I didn't make it that no. far. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, number three, the outfits are amazing. Yeah. Everybody's wearing something skin tight. It's enjoyable. Mm -hmm. uh, no matter your, your, your gender or sexual preference, there's something to look at. Yeah. It's like a... Tough roller disco. <laughs> <laughs> Number four, the music. 
music is yeah. awesome. I went to SummerSlam and I was like so excited for the show and, and everything, but like I found that nothing got me more amped up than when just people would come out. And I just wanted everyone to just come out. They could have yeah. done like a fashion show and I'd be That's very content. That's why I did my entrance on my special is like a wrestling entrance. Yeah. Because to me, there's nothing better than a wrestling entrance. Oh, it great. really um, sets the tone. Like when I perform on, on the road, often I come out to Stone Cold Steve Austin's music. Oh, with the glass breaking. Exactly. Yeah. As soon as you hear the glass break, you know somebody's about to get their ass kicked. Uh -huh. <laughs> Do you find that people are then disappointed that you're not Stone Cold Steve Austin? Yeah. <laughs> but it's a great juxtaposition because I come out and like, da -da 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 -da, and then I'm like, hi. <laughs> <laughs> So wait, what number are we on? I think we're at five. So five. We got one more. Oh wait, you're five. You're on five. Oh, I'm on five. Yeah. Chanting. I love <laughs> chant. Just any chant. Yeah, like where can you do that outside of a cult-like establishment where you're just chanting with your friends mm -hmm. all day, chanting whatever you want? Like we chant things like friendship, uh, sportsmanship, uh, uh, things you can't say. No, you can't. <laughs> you might be able to say them here, but you can't on the, on the TV. They overdub it. <laughs> but I love chanting. Number six, we need a six one. Number six is just smoking weed with wrestlers. Smoking weed with wrestlers. <laughs> that's it, that's the six reasons why wrestling is the best reality show. It's the only interactive reality show. Yeah, you get right in there with yeah, it. Like, yeah. other part times of the you action. just gotta like call a number or vote. Mm -hmm. It's like, why vote when you could talk? You right. know what I mean? The voice wants you to text, you're not smoking weed with the real housewives, like nothing's going, nothing good. I mean, I have smoked weed with some real housewives. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Well, that's number seven. <laughs> Ron, thank you for joining us today. Uh, make sure to check out Ron's special January 4th, Ron Punches Giggle Fit on Comedy Central. One of my favorite activities recently is just like staring at women in winter coats. <laughs> yeah. And just wondering like, ooh, what's under there? And I know, I know a lot of dudes like bikinis, but I'm a winner coat, mother <laughs> Let me use my imagination. <laughs> Plus, it's a fun game. It doesn't bother anybody. <laughs> it's not too creepy. <laughs> it's a little creepy. <laughs> but I still recommend it to anybody. I call it Hidden Figures. <laughs> Thank ask you. you my question? Oh, yeah, you had this card the whole time. Yeah. Do you have a question? It's just a smiley face. Okay, <laughs> I agree. Nice. Yeah. Thank you. You passed. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want this Carlos Mencia DVD? Um, I mean, to be honest, I kind of want the Dr. Katz one. Uh, but <laughs> I'll take the Carl. Carlos is a cool guy. He, he's come to several of my shows and then done jokes about his autistic children. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, uh, <laughs> that's, <laughs> That's season four for you, so. <laughs> nice.